Hi there, my name is Eric Francis Coppolino. I am the editor of Planet Waves and the host of Planet Waves FM. And um, every year I do a spring reading for my readers and, and customers and subscribers. And uh, this year I was like wondering what am I gonna do with this reading? I had one concept of um, doing a Chiron reading, which I, I'm still planning to do, but it, it was, um, all seeming like a little bit too nebulous and, and, and complex. And then Sunday night, I, I received an email from a friend in France who said, you know, uh, there's a, a big thing coming up, which is that um, Mars is about to enter Cancer, and it's going to make an opposition to the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Saturn-Pluto conjunction is a pretty big deal. Happens once every 37 years. It last happened in uh, around 1981. 82, and these Saturn-Pluto contacts are big individually and also especially the way they change our society, the way that, um, you know, people respond. And we're, we're still living with the Saturn-Pluto uh, opposition of 2001, which was the astrology uh, lurking in the background of 9-11. So now we're about to have the conjunction. Uh, it's, you know, half the cycle later, and we're already back at the, at the conjunction. And the conjunction's hanging out here in late... Uh, Capricorn, it's going to be exact on 11220, and then um, Mars is uh, is going to get out there uh, opposing it around June 20th, 21st. Okay, so I thought, yeah, that that's really good. That's good. So I woke up to Tuesday. To, I wrote about it, and then woke up on Tuesday morning, thinking this this has got to be the spring reading. This is the astrology of the spring, and so uh, I I proceeded with the uh, speed and thoroughness and finesse of a journalist uh, to make this thing happen and uh, and get it ready for you and get it into your hands ASAP. And when I want to work quickly, I can work quickly and I don't sacrifice any quality. Uh, I have sat here now for um, a better part of a week recording these, uh, working almost every day with much other stuff going on. And I have got six, uh, 12, six hours, 12 beautiful uh, readings for you, one for each sign and rising sign. And here's here's where here's where it gets interesting. Here's where I'm offering something that uh, I don't think is uh, is being discussed anywhere in astrology. And if you see it, please uh, email it to me efc at ericfrancis.com. Not not only is uh, Mars going to make a, an opposition to planets that are out here that were in the previous version of the chart. But Mars is actually making a square to Chiron and Salacia. I've been talking about the chiron Salacia conjunction now for, uh, for months. I'm calling this the sexual healing aspect. And uh, Chiron uh, square Mars is a, is a famous aspect. It's very provocative, very high integrity. Uh, and, and it's um, really about finding the flexibility to have integrity. Right, because the thing, the problem with Mars square Chiron is it can be so focused on integrity that it can be rigid, and so it's saying relax a little bit and l let the integrity come to you and come from you. And with Salacia there, there's many questions about not not sexual identity, sexual power, sexual politics, and all that stuff that we're used to, but the the deep part of who who we are as relational and sexual beings. This is also indicated by Logos in Libra, which is about concepts of relationships and what relationships are for and what's appropriate in relationships. And then finally, these are all in aspect to a, another major conjunction and not being talked about, Folus conjunct Quayar. Folus is a very slow period centaur. Um, I forget how long. It's well, well longer than Chiron's orbit at 50 years. I think it's 70, 80 years, something like 91 years, and Quayar, about 280-year orbit going around the sun. So this is, and Pholus is slow right now. Uh, so it is moving in a long conjunction with Quayar, and a, uh, and this conjunction is moving, and these two things are basically going to move for, for 20 years. They're going to move through the zodiac, and we're going to be living with this for a long time. And uh, and Logos is going to be there too. So we have a lot of deep questions coming out of the astrology right now. And what I've done is gone through uh, these charts. I've made new, they're all on my drums waiting to be photographed, um, new uh, two, two charts per sign. 
and <clears throat> have uh, broken them down in very plain language uh, w without numbers and uh, astro psychobabble or, or really too much dwelling on the astrology, just showing from a standpoint of, of a diagram, very similar to these, what this looks like and what I think the implications are. And um, I have uh, produced this uh, quickly and, and efficiently and, and lovingly, and it is available to you now. Check on the planetwaves.net website for the best offer right at the top of the page. Again, planetwaves.net. And uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you over at the call. It's called Call the Astrologer. Call the Astrologer. Okay. Bye for now.